you can't skip a rock through the house without starting fires. You can't set fire to the beach in the afternoon without boats. The house was a slobbering white giant moving its boughs throughout the summer. The beach is an even playing field for insects, cousins, and boats. There are deserted beaches in the movies, meaning the fields are dirty but remain burning. The entire hotel is only accessible by boat or on foot. A small bay brings law and order to the beaches. You can't skip a rock through this wealth of water without surrendering the afternoon. Every meal ends up destroying boats with fires. The cousins sang an insect pastoral. The cousins sang an acre, a warehouse. A rock skipped across its belly, bursting a thick red fire. We collect snails in the orchard eating, marble in the summer as slick as snow melting. The summer house naps and snails still stewing, eating verdant insects chirping, so much that, like the fishmonger, they double as smell. Naxos. Move if you can make out her mouth sort of miming to B.B. Happy birthday and handing him a big bottle which is to illustrate the progress of civilization up to the present day that I was there when bought in Greek four packets of Corellia's Virginia and brought back a big bottle fit for treason, stratagem, and spoils knocking the ball against the little house where I was born beginning to see that too ugly make a pretty. Moving upwards of a crooked village road not ten miles from the mud bass we read about, that we read about as well as a foundry. Coal breaker, machine shops, and lighthouse. The movable ones, after Michael Palmer. Soaps of sweat, the baker, among shades and folly. Yesterday you met a young Benjamin over soapy Turkish coffee. All talk of skulls. Soaps of sweat and baker. In San Francisco, the bridge's semi satiric vein, blogging. The most striking bear skulls as well. The day glow of bridges in the shape of Star Wars, that of head to ass makes excellent a standard. Both enjoined the fear that of scalp to, scalp to ass fluctuates and was later merged. We are at war near our face. Of the bay, the soaps of sweat, cracks the skull in Athens the agora of Lucian's dialogues of the dead. You seem to thinking provide servile as well. We are at war on the floor, how vivid at times and the marble, not the dignity, that's called a date. Quite often take fright, and my name was Mighty Elk, in other words, a hospital, part of a prelude for burial cord. Some of these remains lies behind at the store. Yesterday you met a young Benjamin over soapy Turkish coffee, preaching on death in Athens of bridges of coral, his attribution as well and probable, rerouting of sense, so-called. Sometimes we are at war, whose feet were cold as any stone, a fright and hollow effect with their lobes turned outward. Yesterday I met a young Benjamin, a physician, and a horn. The horn filled the room, warning the nowadays, warning the nowadays to hump about the effects of war. All his parched lobes, perhaps, as well, etc., all that was finally heard and most. I dreamed about the city. 3D clay modeling in rows, step the devil, the Disney arches of Munich. Moral lapses in the wreck, another face, the stains or lack of, of war. Amorgos Bay, tacit, popular, the list of dismembered parts much used. Dogs, rosy cross, hatched hinge, leather, no man's land, wallet of 12th century, alive, liturgical, barren, far less, varieties and nowadays, and how. There are three kinds of bridges. Red, colloquial, sterile dogs and Greeks, an authentic finitude. Mikis Theodorakis travel by hovercraft from Piraeus to Oakland, thence by sandbar, in a manner deforming, as well off diminutive, portage to support, suspend bridges of the manner, the graffiti, and reserves territory, or of ideas sacralized and threatened. The islands will be a grave for their children, which slept inside the rock which the mind is made up, which accentuates the islands, and then, and then, so it became an immediate rhyme, which they will forget in a sense, then go to sleep. And now for something uh, much different. This is from um, this book I'm working on now called Rayvon. They're calling them pop poems or party poems, <laughs> something to that effect. This year is going great, and the, cl and the clairvoyants see a lovely bunch of daffodils above you and 
Yes, I know I was with you too long, and don't worry if your forehead is vibrating like a skyscraper. It's just a blue wasp when I'm pulling your hair. The conditions are right. And you'll notice your eyes are shut above your bed looking down, and we're sweating bullets breaking down on the stoop, like some little insect somersaulting under your skin. And yes, the silver cord is an apt name for it, assuming a curious itch or tickling sensation between the crack of your eyes. And it's an arousing trauma. I apologize. I see no way to avoid it. The top. <clears throat> and every 20-something needs to go through his anticon phase with a backpack <laughs> full of tapes sapping warm vodka at 24 or 25 on market with eyes in the back of his head. And non-plus doesn't mean what you think it means. This whole night is a catacresis, a deep fucking K-hole at Hayton Webster, hailing a cab just barely to the Trundleloin, passing out in blue jeans and a beanie, watching my VHS copy of Braveheart. <laughs> you can't ignore my techno. <laughs> you might take my virginity in the back of my trooper, but you can't ignore my techno. <laughs> Your ADD might get in the way of my curious intuition. I force impressions into you because you can't ignore my techno. You might say, fuck L.A. Hardhouse. It's an electrovital, electromental effluvium. As if there was nothing worse than those symptoms of epilepsy, body odor, and hysteria. <laughs> and in order to see this aura of drug taking in the suburbs, you can't ignore my techno. This so-called dead matter, a subtle invisible fluid associated mostly with our organs, an apparatus massaging our genitals together. And we're rewarded for using it, and this certainly is a valuable thing. And these muscles extend some 25 centimeters from your body and there is a glitter on your cheek working against any number of flaws that I'm regarding as colored emanations. And I don't want to hear, why won't you techno for an answer? <laughs> In order to prevent the eyes, the throat center, the heart center, the spleen center, and the sacral center from these invading influences. Because my eyes and throat are focused on my love. And you might be a gearhead or regarded as one, but I know that in between parties and movies, you can't ignore my techno. Fox Mulder. I'm a federal agent who time forgot, a windbreaker overmodulating. My work demands I live where I live. I live in background noise, and the list goes on, etc. The last known photo of me presents no special problem, though under lock and key, not everything is a dark conspiracy. If I meet you in a warehouse, the temperature must be 50 degrees Fahrenheit or less, so as to appear 16 millimeter. We can't maintain this adversity without dominant color. There can, be, there can be no blue daylight on stilts. A dark tone yields a dark tone. Our sunset should be as muted as my apartment, an indeterminate white lettering on my ceiling, a space odyssey cinerama, a light tone and then another abduction, another set piece from Moby's play. My eyes are twitching an orange polarizing filter. They appear as participants, a reinforced fiber fading in the crowd. I carry a flashlight under my clothes, a wireless microphone for low background noise. And now we have to move on, start a new family, a new place to call home. This warehouse has blown up a thousand hues, an easy salary and submission, a one-horse UFO industrial salvage clubhouse. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to meet your soulmate here, but there's a certain sense of prosody to be proud of, and we're currently relying on intuition and pheromones for guidance. <laughs> the Cenobites. I'm a goddamn butterball Cenobite. My repulsive glamour is a piano riff with anti-club posters wheat pasted all over the TL. I am a super butcher, as in a franchise with no overt reference. My attributes are rolling 303 and leather garments gushing blood. We all have horrific mutilations manifested in the tools we carry. As devoted followers, more than 20,000 attended this weekend. This is the Western concept for former humans. Just a, just a rotating lozenge with patterns of Lemmikan's box on its panels until the crowd responds favorably. For many decades, this diamond was a card suit until Club Bernard Up became a lithograph able to summon chains from nearby shadows. I was made with a pneumatic eye that can impale targets and so forth. That smiley yellow face, that vapid anonymous smile exhibits an amoral personality levitating above its butchery. While we were listening to this music, we thought of exposing areas of flesh where some kind of torture has or is occurring. All the unlicensed clubs turned on the scene. This was an extremely painful point of sensory overload. The Lone Gunman. Hubba Hubba in the West, but it's his magical powers that keeps that magazine in circulation. 
from Simon Magus to Moses to Logos, a judge with his own store. But it's where we hide out. And just as Scully was named after a baseball announcer, the gunmen are named after an Air Force base, a punk rock band, and JFK. The history of hell in a series spin-off. And that little crybaby CC was anything but a duelist, dropping the hammer on message boards, swearing to kill off anybody not tuned into this Friday night menage. Until Mulder was tasked to chat with these ghosts, asking stupidly, where does lightning come from, and by what will does it strike the tower? In this theogony, TLG might be the bride, but your ideas are even weirder than the myriad scientific inaccuracies of the sci-fi series Earth 2. El Lobo appears to live a normal life, and his motto, as above, so below, might trick a satellite dish into bouncing back his, in back his image. But don't be fooled by these childish scraps. He is the magician incarnate, asking for assistance. California Dreamin' for Andrew Knauer. It would cost more to drive to L.A. anyway. There's a futon in your kitchen. You bought me a 32 ounce and it's in your kitchen. They're called Congress Created Dust Bowl, right? And they're kind of like the Delta, right? And they're playing the Greek theater tonight, right? The deceased live in Oakland because when your lead singer lives in SoCal, you'll drive so much you'd, be ne you'd become an aqueduct. Sometimes I see trucks with NorCal decals, but everyone from here knows that no one ever said NorCal. That's a SoCal thing. Like only Tupac or New Yorkers say Cali. And I remember reading Thrasher, that Ted rant about Toyota bros slapping skate stickers on their bumpers, slime balls, psycho eyes, and per wheelander skulls. But maybe these weren't stickers, just baggy hoodies or cherry beaches. The top of the food chain is shotgunning water south of Fresno just to spite the south. And gnarly actually just means seriously. Mosswood Park. Let me quickly seek the tracks if you can bind the bow and sleep it all off and take the train to Constantine. I promise that we will find our way wherever we can. It is better to avenge if you can. Better to slip your way down the street than chew your house to pieces. And as you know, moths have flown into people's ears throughout history, bearing the bloody cabinets you open when moving anywhere you thought you'd never be. But it's only now that we have the means to remove them. In the depths this day, we're naming our children after our saints who are our fathers and mothers, but only with patience along the peninsula when ears are technology. And this all becomes rope thin. Figs are flowers, and your good name will live on long after the weird patience bears our bloody wax men following their ears, which are shapely and extended towards the neighborhoods, moving in and about this proximity of family as nowhere else seems to settle the stomach as much as organs identifying themselves at first impression. Feruza Balk, American Girl. Everything is a douchebag now. Echo Park is my Shelley Duvall. I'm surrounded by apple bottoms pissing all over these bushes. It's a new sunny day, but everyone is always moving to Oakland. A whole economy has grown out of this house movement. Gone are the days of one San Francisco sound, when all my friends are sapping Alizé nickel and dimed in their, dirty, in their dirty East Bay cottages. The proverbial last drink is just a white label Nux Vomica. If you take that informal survey, we'll have to sit through that body moving B-side again. And this is a point the commercial ignores. The narrator has no credibility. He is a website pop-locking pop Egyptians. Your liver and stomach will be speaking to you as an internal affair. And when it comes down to it, no one knows how to, no one knows how to define anything anymore. We're walking that tightrope of taste. I'm a trendoid poser, and all my friends are pushing Mongo. Super Bowl XL III. Did my first meth and close read the end for eight hours. All the squares in the living room want to be hung by thick twine. Around the borders is a fireball from the hand or a whale of a bus in blue drips cut off at the corner of the wall, those hips saying, having a nice time, wish you were here. To look a bit three, more three-dimensional as you climb through the front door, carrying the best fried chicken from Divisadero, complete with a dance routine to battle the Super, time ha Super Bowl halftime show. And everybody else knows it's stagnant at the corners, but I can't seem to find the right place to hang these portraits. All the space in the living room is white space, and I'm playing I Spy with my little eye, a blue key and teapot, and an American hero on horseback with sapier drawn shouting, pro-patriot. But never mind that Castlevania III cartridge hanging above the transom. That's just decoration from my childhood, and this is an important day, and all my friends are rooting for the same team. Thanks.